Natasha's journal. December 6. I always hate the moment when she leaves the house for the airport. I go outside to help with her baggage and put it in the car for her, and then she is off. I stand in the middle of the road and watch the car disappear into the vanishing point. I go back into the house and there is nothing louder than silence. I play music on the turntable, but that seems to remind me that she's not there, and therefore, what do I do? I go check out her CDs in her studio and found some cool Japanese Inca music from the Showa era. I put them on and I can feel her presence through the music. I don't want the music to stop, but each CD is 80 minutes long, and there's a sense of panic in me when the CD becomes silent. Since I don't read Japanese, I still pretend to understand the liner notes on the packaging. I have been toying with the idea of taking one of her Japanese books and taking a bus ride to Little Tokyo. There's a patio outside the Kinokunya bookstore at Astronaut E. Onizuka Street, where one can sit and I guess read. I take the bus line 92 and get off spring and first and walk to the store. I sit outside and start reading the Japanese book. It appears to be a biography of the actor Otojiro Kawakami. I never heard of him, but my wife talks about him consistently. Now that she is gone, and to stay close to her presence, I start focusing on Otojiro's life and work. As my wife called them, Oto was born in Hakataku, which is not far away from my family in Japan. He was an actor, comedian, and had his theater group that toured the world. He was the second son of a second son of a merchant family, and when he was young, he ran off to Osaka. At 18, he became a cop in Kyoto, which in turn he left to join the Freedom and People's Rights Movement, which was a left-leaning organization devoted to democracy in the Meiji-era Japan. Within that group, he became a radical and was quite outspoken in his views. He was arrested about 180 times, which was a badge of pride for him. When he was 19, he was prohibited from speaking in public in Kyoto for a year, and it was at this time he earned the nickname Liberty Kid. Ata was inspired by Rakugo, which is an art form in Japan where a narrator tells a tale on a stage. Oto decides to start his theater group inspired by the politics of the West, as well as the ability to stage theater productions as an outlet for his political views. It was near this time that he met his future wife, the actress and geisha Sadayoko. Both became quite successful in staging performances in Japan as well as touring outside the country. Even with that, Oto had money problems that seemed never to go away. To have a foundation to promote himself and theater troupe, he built his theater, the Kawakami Za. It was the first European style theater in Japan, but at that time had electric lighting throughout the theater. It took him three years to build and raise the money for the venue and they had their grand opening on June 6, 1896.
While the couple was in Kobe, they met a businessman who wanted to improve his business in the West and decided to sponsor Oto and his troop for a lengthy American tour. For the next two years, Oto toured throughout the United States as well as Europe. His Japanese troop was the first to travel in the West. What he did was do a bastardization of the kabuki for Western audiences. He cut the dialogue out and put in more dancing and slapstick. This was a huge success. When they got back to Japan, he decided to do a tour. Still, instead of doing kabuki theater, he would present to the Japanese audience a palatable version of Western theater plays, mostly his version of Shakespeare. The beauty of Oto was that he went out of his territory to learn and bring back culture to Japan. His fascination with Western theater from both the United States and Europe, specifically France, was a new phenomenon in cultural Japan. Oto makes me think of my wife because she too is an adventurer at heart. I feel bad sitting here in front of the bookstore in Little Tokyo when I should be by her side in Japan. Nevertheless, the distance between us is almost like appreciating a beautiful bottle of wine, but not yet ready to become consumed. I can presume right now she is somewhere in Kishu. And she is thinking of Oto, and I'm thinking about him as well. At the same time, of course.